Hello, hello, hello. Everything Pisces. Welcome, 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 babies. If you're new here, welcome back. If you are returning, come on in, like, subscribe, comment, share. Thank you guys in advance. You already know what it is, my loves. Kick your feet up. Get your shit, get your shit, get your shit, and get comfortable, because we about to make you do what it do, loves. This is Pisces All Placements, General and Timeless, Cross Watchers, Non-Pisces, you're more than welcome. Just take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And you do not have to be a Pisces or dealing with a Pisces to get a, a um, message here, guys, okay? Or even on the collective read, you know, the collectors for everybody. So check them out. See what's going on today for Pisces. What is the overall message? We got a Queen of Wands that flipped over immediately. So Pisces, this could be you and this Queen of Wands energy, man or woman, it's just energy. Um, very spiritual, very passionate, very creative. Um, you may have some type of brand new idea or this new spark coming alive. Um you may be musically talented or musically inclined. She's holding the flute here. Like I said, I feel like you're very creative. You're very passionate. You're very attractive here, Pisces. Man or woman, very spiritual, very grounded down to earth. Somebody could be watching you or see you in this energy here. Or this just could be the energy that you're in right now. Tell me more about this Queen of Wands. Okay, so you're making some type of plans or preparations here. Or someone around you is making a plan of preparation. Two of Wands. We got a lot of Leo, Aries, Sagittarius energy here. Um, you guys may be about to travel. Someone may be about to travel to you. Some of you guys may live somewhere near like an ocean or somewhere you can go surfing. But I, I do feel like there's somebody making a plan to come towards you here. To travel towards you or want to take you on some type of trip or vacation. Tell me more. Okay, so this is after some type of heartbreak. Three of Swords. Somebody want to come towards you after some type of heartbreak. This could also be you, Pisces, standing in your power, finally making new plans and choices after healing from a heartbreak as well. Moving forward, ready for the next chapter here. After releasing some type of person or something that caused you some type of heartbreak. Yeah, Ace of Wands. It's a lot of wands here. But there's a passing and new beginning here. So Pisces, what I feel like this is you. You've made some type of plans and preparations. You're moving on. You want a passion new beginning after somebody broke your heart. They could have put you in a third party situation. Um, they could have just did you wrong. But your heart was broken. And you, you've healed though. And you're making plans and preparations to move forward. Spirit says you have a lot of choices and options coming your way here, Pisces. There's a passion and new beginning here. You may be about to spark something that's very creative, something that you do that's creative here. Um, but this brand new beginning could be in any area of your life. It could be in your love life. It could be in your work life. It could be just dealing with family and friends, people around you. But whatever this heartbreak is, you've gotten over it. And I see you, you've made conscious effort to move on, have a new beginning after this heartbreak. And not only are you moving on, but you're looking good, you're smiling, you're, you know, you're shining out here. Clarify the Queen of Wands, Pisces energy here. Yeah, Four of Cups. And the Five of Pentacles. You could have walked away from somebody... Or somebody could have walked away from you. And that could be with this heartbreak. If somebody could have ghosted you, left you out in the cold, you could feel like you missed out on an opportunity here. 
You may even feel like this person missed out on their opportunity. So you moving on. So if this person left you for a third party, left you out, you know, chose somebody else over you, left you in the cold, you may feel like this, this chance is over. That's why you're moving on. You're having to patch a new beginning. For others of you, there is somebody coming back that feels like they missed out on the opportunity with you. Um, you could have left this person out in the cold or they left you out in the cold. They could have broke your heart, but now they want to come back. They're making some type of plan or preparation to come back towards you for a passion, new beginning. For others, you Pisces, this is you. Okay? You could have walked away from somebody, gave up on an opportunity, left them in the cold. They could have chose somebody else, and you said, okay, well, fine. You want to go over there? Go over there. I'm going to keep moving forward. And you chose to move on. And you're healing from this heartache. That's my two of wands. Pisces energy. Yeah, this is your ex, King of Swords in reverse. This is somebody who was lying, sneaky, deceptive. They weren't honest with you. This is somebody who didn't listen to their intuition or their spirit guides. That either want to come back or you've made a conscious plan that, that you're healed from this and you're moving on. You want something new. So take it either way. So for some of you guys, it's a person coming back, wanting to start over. For others of you guys, you're moving on, having a brand new beginning. Yeah, see, I see you nine of pentacles, single, stable. So for a lot of you guys, this is you moving on, healing from this heartbreak. Yep, look, nine of pentacles in the star. And now this person is in regret. Are they going to regret not giving you this connection because you're headed towards a new connection? But yeah, you're healed. You're healed and you're single, you're stable, you're out here shining. Queen of Wands energy, looking good, ready for a passionate new beginning with somebody here. And whoever this, this person is that dogged you out, that broke your heart, um, whether you're healing or they're trying to come back, they are in regret about this connection. But I see you moving forward here, persevering to something new. After being betrayed, Ten of Swords. Yeah, this person played a lot of games. Five of Swords. And they were lying, sneaky, and deceptive. Seven of Swords here. You wanted emotional fulfillment and a happy home, happy family. So you walked away. You were intuitively guided. Pisces, hold on, what's that behind you? Yep, you were intuitively, intuitively guided to leave the situation. Six of Swords with the High Priestess. Now this person want to come back towards you. Um, for some, for others of you, this is you walking towards a brand new connection, a brand new patch in the beginning, not looking back. Clarify the Ace of Wands, Pisces energy. Thank you. Yeah, Eight of Swords. Somebody is stuck in their head overthinking, stressed out. I do feel like, um... Two things. This could be you, Pisces, stressed out about a passion new beginning, wondering if you're ever going to find somebody that really is on your level, that really wants something long-term and committed. Come out of that negative energy because that's what's holding up this passion new beginning. The doubt. Um, the going back and forth in your head. Okay? Um, that's holding up this new person from coming in. You got to release the things from the past, your fear, your hurt, whatever happened from past people. I know you've been healing. Um, but you see these strings, there's still things attached to you that you have not completely let go of. You see the same strings here, okay? So um, you may still need to be doing a little bit more healing Pisces from things from the past that trigger you so that you can have this passion new beginning. Because if not, a lot of you are going to go to something new and... As soon as you get in this new connection, you're going to start thinking about what past people did to you. As soon as this person looks like they're moving like this past person or you feel like this person is moving like a past person, you know what I'm saying? You're going to immediately assume this person is doing what the past person did, even if they're not. And you're going to fuck off your brand new connection. So I need you to finish healing whatever these things are that you still have not quite let go of so the new passion connection come in for you. Because you still be stressing over it. For others of you, this is person from the past that want to come back towards you, that want a new passion in the beginning after breaking your heart, possibly putting you into some type of third party situation. They see you moved on and healed. You're single. You're happy. They're stressed now. 
they're stressed because they feel like they missed out on an opportunity with you by leaving you out in the cold or you leaving them out in the cold. There is a union coming here, though, for you guys, okay? There is a new connection coming. Whether it's with a past person coming back to renew the connection and start over, or whether it's a brand new connection coming in that could lead to this union. You guys could end up living together, um, you know, going the long term. For once, it's also like my twin flame card with the, uh, yep, trust your intuition, y'all. This could be a twin and a soulmate connection coming towards you. Yeah, but there will be equal give and take. With this Six of Pentacles and this particular deck is only one person giving to one hand. Normally, the Six of Pentacles, they're giving to more than one. Whether this is an old person or a new person coming in, it will be equal reciprocity. You both will be pouring into each other equally. I do feel like if you have somebody new coming in for a passion, new beginning, Spirit is saying they're coming in single and healed. If you're not healed, you're going to mess up your connection, guys. Okay, so just example, because they told me to get this example, so I'm going to get this example real fast. Say like, um, Pisces, you text somebody, right? You text your person. And in your head, in your head, you feel like this person is supposed to text you back or reply back in a certain amount of time, right? And when they don't text you back in a certain amount of time, that you feel is deemed the right amount of time, um, you get an attitude, you get upset, you get triggered. Okay, now something ain't right, something wrong. You know, you immediately start thinking negative. You immediately stop, start overthinking, making up scenarios in your head, right? Um, that's an issue you need to let go. That's you. That's not your person. That's control. That's you trying to control how your person moves. When you can't even control yourself. How many times have you said you weren't going to do something and you, you end up doing it again? Right? So if you can't even control you, you can't control something else or somebody else or how someone else moves. Now, I'm not saying that um, if you text somebody and they don't text you back for, you know, at all or for two, three, four days, um, that it's okay. If somebody is really into you, they really want to be with you, they're going to show you. Right? Even if they're busy, it may be something quick, busy right now, hit you later. Um, but they will acknowledge in a reasonable amount of time. Now, if you text somebody and they're not texting you back and they're not looking for you, that means you need to let go and walk away. They're not feeling you like that. You don't have to chase nobody down. People will show you who they are and what they really want with you. You don't have to control. And I tell people this all the time. You don't have to trust this person. Trust God. Trust God. Trust that God is going to give you some type of warning if something is wrong. See, the problem is you guys get the warnings. You know, the intuition go off. You see the red flags, but you ignore them because it's something about the person. Either you like them, you know what I'm saying? Or, you know, it's something about them that you, that, oh, well, you just overlook the warning signs. And then when shit go left four or five months later, now you want to be in victim mode. But you can't be in victim mode. Victim mode is low vibrational, okay, guys? Anybody who is blaming somebody else for how they are is low vibrational and you need to heal. Nobody is a victim because there's always a warning before destruction. You ignore it. Take accountability for your half, for whatever part you play. There's no victims here and nothing has ever happened in your life. Because, first off, I don't know why you got me telling y'all this, but I'm going to tell y'all. First off, y'all signed a contract with whoever these people were that hurt you before you got here. So they can come in and dog you out exactly how they dogged you out so that you guys can learn a lesson. Either to get on this right spiritual path, to get you back realigned with your spiritual path, to help raise your vibration. So instead of playing victim and being angry at these people that hurt you, that keeps you in this trigger mode, because they moved on. They're not even worried about what you still worried about no more, right? Say thank you. Say thank you. Change your perspective how you look at it. You're not a victim. You take the lesson and move on. Forgive them, release it. And now when you get into another connection, remember the lesson. But trust that God is not going to let anything come and destroy you. 
You know what I'm saying? They're not going to, if somebody cheating or something wrong, your spidey sense is going to go off. Trust your intuition. Okay? And then move when it say move. Even if you ain't got evidence yet, move when you when it say move. Because the evidence will come up later. Trust your intuition more here, Pisces. That's what I'm getting for you guys. Yeah, because for you guys that's moving on to somebody new, what's holding you back is that you're still holding on to triggers. They still got you bound. I don't know if you guys can see this. Look, she's still wrapped. They still got you bound. Even though I know you've been working on healing and releasing, but there's still things that trigger you. And that's what Spirit wants you to work on right now so that you can't get past the new beginning. Stop overthinking because it does come with union. It comes with a long-term committed relationship here. They just don't want you to fuck it up. Yeah, they want to make sure that you have completely closed out this old cycle before they send you something new here, Pisces. Yeah, and I also heard remember your boundaries. Remember what you learned, seven of wands. Don't have your boundaries so high that nobody can get over it, but don't have them so low that people can just run over you. Remember, you you teach people how to treat you by what you will and won't accept. Okay, babies? Clarify this queen of wands. Thank you. Yep, you the queen of pentacles too, baby. Your money good. Um, some of you guys may also be having some type of brand new beginning when it comes to your finances, okay? Um, it could be both, finances and love. Something creative, a creative project. Some of you guys is a whole star out here in these streets. Are you about to be? But you're coming across in the Queen of Wands, Queen of Pentacles energy. Very vibrant, very spiritual, very, um, beautiful, very handsome. Um, money good, stable, you know what I'm saying? Mother figure, father figure. Yeah, and y'all got a, a emotional fulfillment coming for you guys. Ten of Cups again, different deck. Clarify the Two of Wands. So I do feel like there's some type of, something that's going to come in and make you happy. Yeah, Page of Pentacles, there's some type of offer coming here. Spirit says, remember your boundaries. So, like I said, there could be an ex coming back. There could be somebody brand new coming in. Don't just run and jump into anything. You know what I'm saying? Make sure that this person is consistent and believe it. Yeah, because you're in this empress energy, babies. Um, Make sure that they're consistent. Make sure that they're showing you. And believe what you see the first time. Okay? Because people show you who they are. And most people cannot hold a facade longer than 90 days. Usually less. Now, I'm not going to lie, narcissists, they, narcissists usually, real true narcissists can hold it for a while, even up to a year or more, okay? But most normal people can only hold a facade of mask for about 90 days, and then the real them starts trickling out, and that's who you want to know anyway, the real them. So take your time when this connection comes in here, babies, okay? But you're in this empress energy, this receiving, nurturing, loving energy. You healed, but there are still some things that you need to work on. Clarify the Ace of Wands. Yeah. This is God's judgment. You got a brand new beginning coming. God says so. And there's some type of offers coming in here. Clarify the four. Hmm, the four of pentacles. Um, somebody. Want to either hold on to you. You can have an ex <laughs> coming back because they're having money issues and they want to hold on to you. If you've been having money issues, you could have been in the Four of Pentacles energy, robbing Peter to pay Paul. Well, you finna go to this Queen of Pentacles energy, okay? You finna go from the Four to the Queen. There's an opportunity coming in here for you. Don't miss out on your opportunity. Don't get left back or left out in the cold because uh, you're still holding on to things from the past. Or because you're afraid to take a leap of faith. Clarify the King of Swords in reverse. Coming out as the King of Pentacles. 
So this could be a soulmate coming towards you guys, okay? So for some of you guys, it's a soulmate from your past coming back. This ex. For others, there's a brand new soulmate coming in for you for this past and new beginning. And they're coming in single and healed. Nine of Pentacles, the star. Pisces energy, thank you. Yeah, um, six of cups. So there's either somebody from your past that closed out some type of karmic cycle that wants a new beginning, or there's a new soulmate coming in after you close out your karmic cycle, after you finish cutting these ties. Clarify the eight of swords. Stop overthinking so much, Pisces. Stay out your head. Yep. Because you're the queen of cups. And this is coming in here for you. Stop overthinking. You're causing a lot of this stuff to be stagnant. It's held up. And you want to know why? It's not coming. It's because of you, babies. Be mindful of your thoughts, what you're, what you're thinking, and what you're speaking. Okay? Change your perspective on how you look at things. And it will help a lot here to get to your next chapter. But yeah, money's finna pick up. Yeah, you got a lover coming. Um, once again, new lover, old lover. This is soulmate connection energy, twins connection energy. You know, high level divine soulmate energy, right? Life partner. Um, if this is work, this is something that you love to do. Okay? For some of you guys, you're getting both. So for some, you're getting love. For some, you're getting money. For others, you're getting both. You're getting the love and the money. Yeah, for a lot of you guys, there's somebody from your past that you're not dealing with. You put boundaries up. If, if, they, if you're... If you're Listening for this past person, this person knows that you, you're not dealing with them. Boundaries, you, they hurt your feelings. You've been avoiding conversation. You're not dealing with them. They feel like you're still upset. If this is a new connection coming in, you're still upset in some things. You need to let it go so that you can get the new connection. There's still, there's still cords that are keeping you still bound to the past. Things that are not completely released here. What does Pisces need to know for this particular read? I feel like this is you, Pisces. Um, and this could be the past. You were lacking confidence. Um, you could have still been stuck in your ego, your fears, your frustrations. That's what spirit needs you to release here. Okay? So that, that you don't mess up this new connection coming towards you. For others, if it's a past person, this past person felt like they were not good enough. Okay? They felt like they lacked confidence. They sabotaged the connection. They were stuck in their ego, their fears, their frustrations. Take it how it resonates. If it don't fit, don't take it. It's not for everybody. Yeah, karmic relationship. <laughs> um, Like I said, I felt like this past person could have been a karmic. Or this is your soulmate that went to a karma. They sabotage the connection. So I feel like I'm picking up past person energy right now. So we're gonna deal with the past person energy um that's coming back here. So if you have a past person that went towards a third party, broke your heart with the third party situation, could have been their mother, could have been their baby mother, a father, a baby's father energy, they sabotage the connection with you to go back towards a karmic relationship. Because they were stuck in their ego. They fear their frustrations. They could have been dealing with a child situation here. Yeah. But they realized that um, they've been struck by Cupid's arrow. They're having faith. Love is coming. Surprise invitation struck by love. So now they want to come back. So like I said, this is a past person. They left you in the past. Sabotaged the connection. Went towards a karmic relationship. Now they realize they're in love with you. They want to come back. Whoever this was, the past person, they were dealing with outdated thinking conditioning. Now they're replaying events over in their head here because they wore a mask. They were hiding their true feelings, pretending, deluding, gaslighting, and personifying you. Now they want to come in and talk. 
interested in waiting messages, text calls, emails, talk anymore. That's if you're dealing with a past person. Yeah, you put an end to this. The relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform. What's dead is dead. So for a lot of you guys, you don't want the second person back. Um, you've also... Okay, so this could be both stories. Somebody could have put you in a third-party situation. You walked away. You started loving yourself. And now you're moving on to a new connection. For others, and that person may still come back. Um, for others, this person left you for a third party. Missed out on the opportunity with you. Now they realize they're in love with you. And they stuck in their head because they wore a mask. And they were stuck in past thinking. Didn't I say you had to change? You had to change your perception. That outdated thinking. That outdated con conditioning. Let that shit go. Whether it's new or old. Okay. Is that a sex card? Hold on y'all. We got sex cards in here. Um, <laughs> It wasn't supposed to be here. But it do say protect yourself. Um, and they do got a condom, so that came off the sexual deck. Just protect yourself. Period. New or old. Tell me about the new energy coming towards Pisces. I'm in a reading. New energy towards Pisces. Yeah, so this new person coming towards you, they're working on their relationship with God. They are a reflection of, of you, and, and they're going to see yourself and each other. New connections coming towards Pisces. They're going to want to move in together. Let's move in together. That's what I said. Um, this new person says, or will know, you lit a fire in their heart that continues to burn. Because this is so many connections. So you're going to light a fire under this new person's heart. And, and it's never going to burn out. And then the last one for the new person would be, I know you were sent from heaven to show me true love. Your past person want to know, do you still love me? I don't know what to do without you. So your past person could also want these things too. The past person could be working on themselves with a relationship with God. They see you as a reflection. They want to move in. You lit a fire up under them. Now they want to, you know, get their shit together. They know that you were sent from heaven for true love. But they don't know if you still love them. Past person is doing the shadow work. Because in the past, their chakras were not open. Okay? I got a divine masculine for both. And I do have, I'm single, getting ready for my divine femme or my divine masculine, whether it's old or new relationship, okay? Pisces. I don't want you guys to miss out on this cycle. You know, everything is energy, and energy comes and goes. So, I just want to make sure you guys, you know, are not stuck in the past or thinking that you're healed and then you get triggered and mess up something that was meant to be beautiful. Who is this Pisces V4 about? So, this could be a past energy or this could be um, the new energy coming towards you. Leo. Cancer, Libra, we have Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Scorpio, Aquarius, Gemini, we have Capricorn and Virgo that popped out, bottom of the deck we have Air, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, on the cut we have Fire, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, so let's see what we got going here, we have Earth, Fire, Air, and all the water, except for Pisces popped out, but this is a Pisces read, so Pisces, you're included. Um, so look like everybody. <laughs> everybody. Everybody's here. And there go Pisces. <laughs> they said pour this with them. There go Pisces. Okay, so everybody is here for sure. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, 
Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. If it resonates with you guys, let me know. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share. Make sure you guys are working on healing, honeys, so that you are not blocking your blessings, okay? And remember, as always, you have free will. Personals are open. I am running a special right now. Anybody who books any service from the 15th of September to the 30th of September will be entered in the free 30-minute drawing or a free 30-minute read um, in October, okay? So we'll, I'll do the read in October. But you, if you book any service, it doesn't matter which service, from the $11 service to the $100 services, whatever in between, if you book the service from the 15th up until the 30th, you will be entered. If you book more than one reading with me, um, however many times you book, your name will be added to the bucket that many times. Okay, guys? Um, I think that's all the, the business. All oh, my information to book is down below in the um, description box under any read. And it's on the community board as well, guys, if you are looking for that. Um... I will be making more crystal lip glosses. I know they they are sold out. Um, give me a couple of days. I'll be putting some new ones up, and I have some new lip gloss, crystal lip gloss favors. So be checking for that. Any other business? I think that's all the main business right now, guys. So until next time, you keep rocking with me. I'm gonna keep rocking with you. Love, light, and peace. Bye, my fishy babies. <laughs>